I'm going to take a look at sculpting on a ring with an art cam. I'm just using a tapered square ring. I'm using quite a thick width at the top, so seven meter, seven millimeter top width and a two millimeter bottom width. It's quite a thick ring, just from the standard shank library. And I'm just going to accept this and come across to my 3D view so I can see my ring. So here we have my plain shank, which I'm going to change to a color using my jewelry lights and material tab. I'm just going to switch this over to a brushed silver. I'm going to start to do some work on my ring now. So I'm going to come across and create a new model and a front relief of my design itself. I'm going to label this one shank so I don't get confused and I'm going to create a new relief by right clicking and new relief and I'm going to call this texture and then finally I'm going to import by right clicking and importing a texture I'm just using my standard texture library here and I'm going to use this granite texture so we can see this granite texture as it comes in so it's quite lumpy and I'm going to turn off my granite texture now switching over to the 2D view I'm just going to select this bottom vector this top vector right click and I'm going to join them with a line so it's just going to cap off the one end which has been capped off here and I'm going to cap off the other end by right clicking closing my vector with a line so that's closed it the two dots have gone to one I know that's closed I'm going to select a primary color is red and then I'm going to flood fill my vectors the reason I'm flood filling my vectors so when I come over to the 3d view and come to sculpting mode so that I don't sculpt outside of the ring area itself so making sure I'm on my texture layer so switching over to this layer I'm going to right click and sculpt with the deposit brush now currently we don't have the tool settings showing so what we're going to do for this one is just hover over my tool settings tab which as you can see happens to be my deposit tool but if I was working for instance if I right click and go to a painting tool and paint this will change to a painting tool or right click and drawing and line this will turn to a polyline itself so my settings or tool settings is what or where we can actually find my values when we're actually entering or going in and out of one of my design tool modes so if I go to deposit tool I'm going to go to granite so I'm actually going to sculpt using the granite texture now to zoom in and out I'm just holding the space button down and zooming in and out with my model wheel my middle mouse button wheel and to just pan across I'm using a space and left and right mouse button now my diameter is pushed up to the full extent I'm going to boost my strength down to about 15 percent and I'm going to sculpt only using the under color so when I just click we can see it hasn't sculpted around the outside of my design now another click here one here so I'm just alternating where I am putting my texture and then we have the first part of our ring created I'm then going to change the brush size about 20% so slightly bigger and I'm just going to paste here here or deposit my brush here 
just sculpting around my design. And there we have our finished textured band, which has been sculpted on. Next thing I'm going to do is right click and come across to the carve mode. Now with the carve mode, I'm going to just click and create holes across my ring. I'm putting a couple of holes on each section. Then I'm going to change my brush size or my diameter of my brush down slightly to make some smaller holes. Maybe slightly bigger because the tool's not likely to get in there. If I do make a mistake at any point, if I use the Control Z button, I'm just undoing everything I've created. Step by step through. I'll make my brush slightly bigger for this. I'll just place those holes on my ring. I'm going to increase my strength on this. Panning across. Carving as many of these holes as I possibly can in my shank itself. Just to create my finished design. Rotate this round. Zoom in, mixing some larger craters or holes with some bigger ones, some smaller ones, to much bigger size, just to mix these up. There we have our finished shank. That's a hand carved effect shank. As you can see, within the sculpting tools, the ability to use the undo, control Z to undo anything we've created. And also the fact that we don't have to work in a separate mode. So we don't need to work with using having to apply certain stages or if we make a mistake, reset them. What we're actually doing is just working on it as it is in a standard mode and using the undo button if we make any mistakes.